In this tutorial, we will be covering manipulating the tube and the collimator. To interact with the X-ray machine controls or the tube head, you can either go to the menu, Equipment, and choose the tube controls, or you could left click on the tube control, or you could just simply select the hotkey number one to bring up our tube controls. Here we have the menu for this piece of equipment. We have the main selection control panel and then the adjustment control panel. You can see this is just a magnified version of the tube head of which there are locks to interact with, exactly as in a real medical imaging unit. We have the up and down, which has now allowed access to the menu keys for up and down. We have our vertical access, where the machine can be twisted either way on its vertical axis. We have its horizontal angulation button or lock so we can angle the tube horizontally according to the procedure we wish to do. We have our transverse button so the tube can be moved closer to us or further away. Our longitudinal button to move the tube along the ceiling longitudinally. And then our all lock button allows us to interact with the vertical movement, the longitudinal movement, and the transverse movement. The other button we can interact with here is our light. And we can see our collimation area, a light. There is a second all lock button and a second vertical button. To speed any of these movements up, once selected, you can hold the shift key and using the left mouse button with all movements, you can interact with that movement a lot quicker. The collimator can be controlled by choosing the light beam diaphragm, LBD, on the equipment drop-down, or clicking with the left mouse button on the collimator, or if that can't be done, just selecting the number two, numerical key two, will bring up our collimator control. We also have a light interaction button on this collimator control down here, or we could access the light as previously described on the tube head control. Back to the collimator. By depressing the left mouse button on the control and sliding whilst still decompressing that button, we can bring our collimator control in. So I do not let go of my left mouse button. I will depress it now and then slide it around as the column, as the control allows. So depress the left mouse button and guide that control around. The collimator box can also be rotated as the need fit, sees fit to adjust it to the anatomy that we wish to image. And that concludes this tutorial.